Here is George discovers the senses, and if you like to buy this book, check in the link in the description down below. In the country, things moved at a slower pace, except for the man with the yellow helmet. He was training for a triathlon race on Saturday. George was helping by keeping time. While the man was training, the roof of George's house was being repaired. When George and the man got home, the roof repairman told them, the hole is bigger than we thought. A lot of water got in. The hole was right above their bedrooms. Until it was fixed, they had to move their beds downstairs into the living room. George was excited to sleep in the living room. It would be an adventure. But George discovered that there are also problems of sleeping somewhere new, especially after dark. In the dark, everything looked and sounded different. It made hard for George to sleep. Then, something else made it hard for George to sleep. Bats! George woke up to the sound of bats screeching in the dark. The bats woke the man up too. They must have come in through the hole in the roof, he said. The man tried to get the bats out of the house, but it tripped over something in the dark. I wish I were a bat, then I could get around in the dark too. George was curious. <coughs> like us, bats can't see very well in the dark. They use their ears instead of eyes, the man explained. Bats screech to find out where they are. Their voices bounce off things so they know where the things are, even if they can't see. They use their sense of sound to hear where they're going. Once the bats were out of the house, the man gave George a glass of milk to help him sleep. You remember the five senses, George? Sight, sound, taste, touch and smell. We see with our eyes, hear with our ears, taste with our mouth, touch with our hands and skin, and smell with our nose. Do you think you can sleep now, George? The man asked. George could. He went right back to sleep. But the man didn't. The next day, he looked really tired during the triathlon training. With the race only two days away, the man needed to get plenty of sleep to help keep his energy up. George hoped the man would sleep tonight. And he did, but George was still wide awake. He needed another glass of milk to help him fall asleep. George didn't want to wake the man up by turning on the light. He tried finding his way to the kitchen in the dark, but he kept bumping into things. Then George remembered what the man told him about bats. George thought he could use his voice and the sense of hearing to find his way in the dark too. He tried screeching like a bat, but he couldn't hear his voice bouncing off anything. He tried a little louder and a little louder. What are you doing? cried the man. All the screeching had woken him up. The next day, George felt awful. He kept the man up again. If only he had a way to quietly find his way to the kitchen in the dark. He couldn't see or hear his way. Then George got an idea while eating his breakfast. Maybe he could taste the way to the kitchen. George put some oatmeal on the floor. He could use it to make a trail. George! The man cried out to stop him. Eating off the floor is never a good idea. If George couldn't use a taste, sight or sound, what senses were left? Oatmeal might not belong on the floor, but it does belong in a curious monkey's tummy. George took a deep breath in. It smelled good. If he left the oatmeal out, would he be able to smell his way to the kitchen? Just then, the man came over. Want some honey with your oatmeal? He asked George. Honey was sticky. That got George thinking. Maybe he could use touch. George spread a honey path out along the floor. If George felt the honey with his feet, he'd know where he was going right away. He was excited about his path. He could hardly wait to try it out. That night, when George couldn't sleep, he used the honey path to help him find the kitchen. The honey was working. He was finding his way with touch. But now the honey was stuck to George's feet. It was hard to find the path because it felt like the honey was everywhere. George, what are you doing? The man asked. Oops, George had woken up his friend again. The next day, George decided to feel his way to the kitchen using something soft, not sticky. George looked inside his toy box. Maybe he could use stuffed animals. George's soft path had to work. 
because the man's race was tomorrow and he needed to get some sleep. George's stuffed animals would tell him where the furniture was, but he needed more soft things to lead him to the kitchen. So, George rolled up some towels to make a path. The man was so tired, he went to bed early. George didn't even have to wait until his bedtime to try his soft path out. Using his hands and his feet, George worked his way to the kitchen, and he made it all the way without waking his friend up. That night, George used his path many, many times. Since he was so excited about the man's race tomorrow, George was the only one who couldn't sleep. The next morning, George was there to cheer the man on as he swam and rode and ran his way to the finish line. But George missed the finish because all that walking around at night made the monkey very sleepy. The end.